Hey there guys, so I was just working on a different video, but I had to break off and just make this video to share this with you. Holy crap, Unreal Engine 5 has just this minute been announced and it's going to be a game changer. So if we just have a look at some of the features together, there are two main things that they're really pushing with this and they look amazing. So um, the first thing I think that they talked about is uh, the lighting. So if we have a look, this is uh, the video that Unreal have just put out on their YouTube channel. All of this lighting, this beautiful lighting is dynamic and it's got bounce as well. So it's bouncing around the scene. If you turn that off, it's called global illumination. Then you can only see what the light hits in the first place. It won't bounce into the rest of the cave. Um, so let's just see if we can flick through to where they turn that off. So here we go, if we look now, if we turn off the global illumination, um, come on guys, turn it off. It's like, it's stylistic, but it's not as good, it's not as natural. And when you turn it back on, and you can see it all updates immediately. This is running on a PlayStation 5. So this is gonna be game changing for all gaming platforms. This is absolutely next level stuff. So the lighting, we've kind of seen getting better as a trend in game development anyway. But the thing that really blows my mind, and I've got no idea how they've done it, and it's going to change the way that we work, is this system that they're calling Nanite, which means that you can bring in um, cinematic level assets. So you can bring in 3D models from ZBrush that are millions of polygons so they've got some statues in this level if I can just find the statues this guy here I think they said he's 33 million polygons if you've worked with Unreal Engine 4 you know that that's too many and that things will grind to a halt pretty quickly so you've already got that as a hero asset but then they go on just to show off in this room here they have got dozens of copies of this all at millions of polygons each. They talk about billions of polygons being in this scene, which is insane. And this has all been made a reality by this Nanite system, which will take super high quality, cinematic quality assets and let you just drop them straight into your game, into your scene. And this Nanite system will resample them dynamically so that they always look amazing, but it never renders more than you can see. So if we have a look back at this coloured system here, where is it? So this here is them showing how it is resampling this scene. So each one of those colours is a triangle. And you can see that that's being recalculated in real time. So we're not going to get what we've had in the past, where you've got LODs, and you can see those popping if they're not done really well. This just works. So these are all mega scans assets. They're the cinematic quality ones and they're really really dense and it's all just working so this is set to come out in uh, 2021 next year and I can't wait to get my hands on it already this is blowing my tiny little mind today so I just had to share this with you I'm going to put the link for this video in the description go and check it out it's amazing and um, the fellas that present this talk through some of the systems as well so it's really worth looking at. And if you're excited to get your hands on this and start working in it, um, let me know in the comments below. I think I'm going to have to put together a whole new tutorial series for this because it looks so good. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. Unreal Engine 5 is coming. Demo running on PlayStation 5. Performance looks ridiculous, even with this real-time global illumination and um, this Nanite system with billions of triangles. It's exciting times. Anyways, um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the video that I'm working on, which I'll put up next, hopefully. Okay, bye.